Good morning and welcome to worship on this, the 10th day of January, our first Sunday together um, in the sanctuary for those who are here for in-person worship and a brand new year beginning. Just a couple of announcements. Um, we will be having bread and fishes a week from tomorrow night. So if you are aware of anyone in need of food, please pass that word along to other people. Um, second, we have resumed our normal office hours again. Um, so um, we have published them time and time again. Um, Vanessa is available from 8 to 4, Monday through Wednesday, and 8 to 2 on Thursdays. She's in the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 4. I'm in the office on Monday and Wednesday from 2 to 4, and I am available most any time to that I'm not in the office by way of my cell phone. I'd like to encourage you as we begin this new year um, to take your telephone directory if you have one and make one phone call, email, or text message to one different person in our congregation each day and just contact them and say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Is there anything you need? Uh, we're in prayer for you. And if you hear anything from them, please share it with me. Um, I am going to be 
intentionally calling people, but it never hurts for people to hear from more than one person. Um, we are the body of Christ. David, where are we with the Lenten devotion? Okay, we've got over half of the uh, assignments filled, uh, but we still need probably about another uh, 15 to 17 uh, devotional articles signed up for. So if we can get uh, people to contact me, I will I will give them the instructions of what's required to be done, and uh, we can get, we can uh, get that over with. But uh, out of 47, to have be down to 15 to 17 is not too bad. But please uh, prayerfully consider writing one. These are it's, we're writing about songs and music that's impacted our lives and, and that God has used to communicate with us. So it's I think it's something that's a little bit different, but hopefully will, people will uh, will shine to it and uh, be willing to sign up. So thanks for everybody who's already working theirs, and we'll uh, look forward to seeing what, what we can get. Yes. Um... This year you will not be assigned a Bible verse to write about. You're asked to write about a song or a hymn or some piece of music that speaks to you. Do you have a theme for the devotion? Uh, it's uh, Sing for Joy, Christ is Alive. Sing for Joy, Christ is Alive. Um, Pete, did you have... An announcement this morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Every year around the holidays, uh, we take up a special offering. We have got a tremendous staff here at Dumfries uh, that have worked so hard and during the pandemic, keeping services going online, returning to in-person worship, making phone calls, reaching out to people uh, in a time when we all need it so very, very badly. So, um, this year was even more appropriate uh, to take up a special offering to just for the congregation to say thanks uh, to our wonderful staff who do so much for us. So, with that, Dale. Pastor Dale. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your leadership uh, and your ministry. We truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Miss Sim, for everything you do, you truly add the joy and music, leading the, uh, the choir when we can, cantatas. Uh, we really, really appreciate you all. We are so lucky to have you here. Thank you so much. Miss Vanessa, you are the work behind the scenes. <laughs> Well, you know, you keep the business side of the church running, and, and that is so important. Not only that, but your spirit, your enthusiasm, uh, just fill the church, and, and you do so much more uh, that people don't know, and that we certainly don't pay you for. So we are very, very grateful, and very fortunate to have you. Thank you. Donnie? Thank you, sir. Praise the man who's tied to this leadership you provide. Uh, getting young people to step up and play. Uh, and Lewis, I love your mask, by the way. Uh, it, it just adds so much joy uh, and enthusiasm. And in my opinion, makes the church a, uh, a place where young people uh, and families want to come to because there's so much joy. The music is uh, just adds a joyful piece. So we are so grateful to have you. And I hope you continue to do what you do for many, many years. Thank you so much for providing a clean, safe, 